everyone, today I am here to do an update on our rats. So the last time we did a rat update I talked about Macy's lump and also Elise who had what we thought was two lumps and an abscess which actually turned out to be infected mammary tumor that she had to get removed which made it a high risk surgery. So this one's Macy. You can see that she still has her lump. We didn't get removed. We were only going to do one surgery at a time. And I think where we're at right now based on Elise's recovery is that we don't want to do another surgery for a lump removal unless it's absolutely necessary. If you've had a rat with mammary tumors before, you know that they don't really get in the way and they're benign. So unless they grow much bigger, then you can leave them alone. Tink had one throughout her entire life, um, her end of her life, and she did just fine with it in. So that's Macy, our Siamese rat. I have all kinds of rats crawling all over me right now. And she is not going to get surgery right now. Okay, I don't know who I have on me. Who are you? Are you Hazel? Is that Hazel? That, that's Hazel. You're not even on my back. You're just kind of like holding on. I... Okay. So, Elise is right here. She's the one that just had the surgery. However, Hazel is my rat that is most like Opal and I'm going to give the attention to right now because she is investigating me and I'm not really sure what her plans are. We got her when we got Ebony. They are both Dumbo rats. She is a hooded rat and she looks the most like Lulu who is right here. She's a, another hooded rat but has regular standard ears. And she may or may not be pulling at my clothes and other things. This is all she does. She just investigates all the time. <laughs> this is Elise. She got all three of her mammary tumors removed several weeks ago. She had the one in the front, the one in the back, and then the one right by her urethra that actually got infected. It's the one that my vet thought was a rat bite, but it wasn't. That one was the most high risk because he actually had to reroute her urethra and get a catheter in. And unfortunately, if they do not get the catheter in correctly, the rat will not survive. So I guess you can find that out in a matter of 72 hours. And actually, as soon as you put the catheter in, he can squeeze on her bladder to see if it works. So she clearly did okay from that, but there's still some complications from it. Um, where her mammary tumor was, there's still a lump, and I have no idea if that's just fatty tissue from it or if the mammary tumor is growing back. I kind of suspect that it's growing back, but unless it increases in size, it's kind of like Macy. I really don't want to put her through another surgery. And then with her stitches and the change in her lump where it was infected, she has this really odd... Uh, growth kind of going. She opened up her stitches and there was essentially a hole that we were letting naturally close so that she didn't have to go under surgery again. She's acting fine, she's eating, she's using the bathroom, but her urethra looks really odd and that vaginal opening looks really odd. But because she's functioning okay, we're not worried about it. But she is going back to the vet soon to get it checked on with the situation that we have with COVID-19, it's making it kind of difficult to go out and do anything. Um, our vet is still seeing patients. However, we want to do our part and stay home unless absolutely necessary. And as you can see, she's acting fine. She's acting just like herself. And her hair is growing back from her comb. She's doing great apart from that one little thing where we're not really sure what's going on. So then I have my other girl who actually is related to both Macy and Elise. We got her the same time that we got those two. I call them our three amigos when we first got them. And she's behind me, but she doesn't really like being picked up. So we have been tackling mites for the better part of a month, probably more than a month. She had revolution around of that a month ago. We completely washed the carpet, including with a pet safe mite and flea treatment. And she still had mites. She also had ivermectin put on her in addition to the revolution. So if you're not familiar with that, Revolution attacks both the eggs and the adults. 
of mites, whereas ivermectin just, I believe, attacks the already hatched mites. Last time I put a treatment on all of our girls just to be safe, but with mites they really pick one host, and that would be Willow this time. Um, her back is all kind of scabby. The vet also took a little swatch of her to see if there were any mites, and there were. So that's how we know what it is. So hopefully with this round of revolution it starts to really treat her, but because I did not treat all the other pets, I do have an extra dose of that, several extra doses of it actually. She is also our largest rat. She must weigh at least a pound. I do not have a scale like I used to for Allison Tink, but she is just the larger of them. Apart from specific girls and vet concerns, which I will say a visit to the vet, a recheck, was only $14, but overall Elisa's surgery was probably about $400 when all was said and done, including vet checks and visits. It was around $350 for the surgery with medicine, um, pre-medicine, post-medicine, including Medicam, Batril. She was on Batril for a long time to help with antibiotic and infection. Our girls have been free ranging in this room for well over a week. We kind of tried it for three days and then we put them back in the double critter nation because of the mites that Willow got. But then after we cleaned up this room, my husband really did most of that, the cleaning up and the cleaning up the carpet. We put them back in. She still has mites so it's not really the room that's the problem, it's more of the eggs on her. But overall you can tell they're pretty happy that they have a little room to themselves. Okay, I have several rats on me. I have Elise pegging down Lulu to clean her. I have Daisy licking my foot. So if you want to know what owning eight rats is like, that's kind of what it's like. Is that Abby? Are you trying to... what are you doing? If you have any specific rat questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I am going to work on posting some more videos. I know I said I'd do a meet my rats, but with everything going on um, with with the rats and then as well as me being a teacher and now doing remote learning at home, that whole new curveball, it may be a while before I get to those. But definitely leave questions down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know I have a lot of rat viewers. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye. Is my hair dirty? Do I need a shower? Do I need to clean my face? Ouch.